Uh, let us shift gears here to Washington. A lot can change at the White House from a Friday to a Monday. On Friday, you may remember, we were talking about it here on the show, former Goldman Sachs heavyweight turned chief economic advisor Gary Cohn's chances to replace Janet Yellen as Federal Reserve top dog seemed to be dimming, fading to black. Today, Charlie, the light is back on. I just want to be real clear here. I'm not going to say he's going to get it. Um, clearly, he's in the uh, in the doghouse with the president following his critique of of uh, President Obama's Charlottesville response. He was, you know, fairly critical of the president, uh, although not mentioning him by name. But he. He stated his case that he thought the president didn't go far enough uh, in condemning uh, what a lot of people believe was a, a neo-Nazi riot. Um, what I'm hearing now out of from people close to the selection process is, you know, this decision is far from done yet. That Gary Cohn may be un unlikely to get it, but his chances are not zero right now, and that the president really hasn't decided. Uh, Kevin Warsh, uh, a former uh, Fed Fed governor. Yeah, we know him well. Brilliant guy. He works at the Stanford Business School, and he was instrumental in, in the sort of the bailout measures during the financial crisis. He would actually be a good choice for this job. Uh, he's he's got a shot, but again, from what we understand, no nothing has been set in stone. Kevin Warsh hasn't been contacted, from what I understand, at all. I think they need somebody um, who understands market dislocations and the dislocations well, that the Federal Reserve has done by putting in so much stimulus, and that is Gary Cohn because he's watched stocks, well, he knows was, asset class. Well, we should point out that all that stimulus that the Fed put in helped Gary Cohn make a lot of money. So in two, what? He <laughs> understands now in 2008. On the other side. That's what saved Goldman Sachs. Is where he worked. And Goldman Sachs was essentially done if they didn't uh, a do QE, if b they didn't give them some money. But c the real catalyst was it was when they bailed out AIG. That was a backdoor bailout for Goldman Sachs for a lot of reasons, which I don't we don't have enough time to explain. But the financial, the, all that stimulus that the Fed and and, and that Kevin Warsh in, in conjunction with Tim Geithner and Hank Paulson at the time did that bailed out Goldman Sachs. But here's what we we do know. The one person that's highly unlikely to get reappointed is Janet Yellen. That is the one thing that when you talk to Republicans about what's in the president's head, what's in his advisor's head as to what they're going to do with the Fed chair. Remember, Yellen's term, I guess, ends in, in, in next year. Mm -hmm. um, it's, 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 it's doubtful that she's going to get, get appointed. Uh, it's like that's more doubtful than, than Gary Cohn. But so I guess the point is to be made here. Uh, I'm not saying Gary Cohn's getting it. I'm telling you, he is not out yet. And the the White House pushes back a lot on him being out of the White House totally. That he's, you know, somehow going to get blown out. And we should point out that there's no decision made. I can tell you that the name that keeps coming up is Kevin Warsh as, as the Fed chairman, as the guy that's likely to get it. He has not been contacted. He has not been told this, from what I understand. We should point out that Warsh um, uh, has, you know, didn't return calls for comment. Uh, the White House had no comment on this. Gary, Gary. You want him. I know you love him. I don't want anybody. Why do you Whatever. Like Why do you like him so much? He looks like... <laughs> no, listen, I'm not saying I'm perfect looking. Cleveland. I'm not Cleveland. perfect looking, but he looks like Daddy Warbucks a little bit, doesn't he? No. Yeah, he does. Put up a picture of him. He's a rock star. No, I mean, Read listen. Malcolm Gladwell's chapter on him in look, da David Daddy War Goliath. Look, Daddy Warbucks. Daddy Warbucks. By the way, he eats like eats trees, spits them out. The guy's an the guy's an animal. He chews nails.